So here I've got the rear brake caliper off of a 2005 Honda Civic MP3. This caliper was sticking, causing the rear brakes to drag um, and massively overheat. Uh, it turns out that the uh, the problem was the the piston in here was uh, corroded and pitted. Um, and I think that was causing it not to return back into the caliper properly. So when you apply the brakes, the piston comes out, pushes the pads together around the disc, um, and the the boot here is supposed to provide some returning force to pull the piston back off, which should free the pads away from the disc and allow the disc to rotate freely uh, without any friction. What was happening was that the the piston was sticking in the seal inside here and stopping it from returning smoothly. So I've just taken the calip caliper apart. Um, it's quite interesting inside there. You've got uh, the piston and then an arrangement of a spring um, and a, a big washer and then a circlip which holds in a threaded piece on the inside of the piston. Um, and then that threaded piece fits is a is a female thread and fits over and threads into a male thread that comes up through the center from the back here and uh, that's for the handbrake mechanism the auto the self adjusting handbrake mechanism so you can see there as I pull this lever it just moves the piston only a tiny amount and you only need a tiny amount but I haven't actually worked out exactly how that all works I think that the the movement is actually generated through hydraulic brake pressure rather than a mechanical um, linkage if you like pushing on here so there's a there's a shaft through here um, that shaft kind of has a has a a bit of an offset hole in it and then there's a pin which uh, sits in that offset hole and that pin pushes up into kind of a uh, I don't know like a seat I guess um, and I think what happens is that there's hydraulic fluid in the back here and when you pull the handbrake on the shaft rotates it pushes that pin up and that pin uh, which is kind of trapping hydraulic or it kind of forces some hydraulic fl fl fluid through the seat. Uh, there's a hole in the seat which then goes into the back of the piston and causes the this area to pressurise, which pushes the piston forward. Um, so that's the handbrake mechanism. And then the the normal braking mechanism is, is obviously hydraulic fluid coming straight into this chamber and pushing the piston forward. But it's, a, it's just a really interesting setup. So I think the way that it auto adjusts is that when you when you basically what you would have to do is take the handbrake off so that would move this mechanism back and it would release all the all the pressure and fluid um from the back of the piston then you would apply the foot brake and that would cause pressure to flow into this chamber pushing the piston forward then you would apply the handbrake which would cause a additional pressure but it would also cause the threaded part the threaded parts to move against each other which I think is what causes the um, causes the threads to rotate against each other and basically find like a new a new home position if you like which would be where the piston is out to um, and then you probably have to do that multiple times so that it kind of winds round until the, um, the the threaded base part in here, which is also sprung loaded, um, winds out to a point where it meets the back of the piston and can't, or it, it bind, binds up and can't move anymore. Um, but I'm not in. Yeah, I mean, I. I kind of think I need to think about it a bit more to work out if that's exactly what's happening but it's quite interesting anyway the reason I was making this video is because um, 
the really most of this is fine. It's a bunch of seals taking it apart. It's relatively straightforward. There's a there's guides online, and that's all fine. The really tricky part is uh, when getting it back together, putting the piston into the boot and in, and the boot into the housing. So every time I've done this before, it, I've done it with two people, and one way you can do it is you put the the boot here into the housing first. And then you get one person to sort of stretch the boot open, and then the other person pops a piston into that stretched open boot. And then you kind of straighten it up and let the boot go. And then you kind of capture the boot, the piston into the boot, um, and then you can push the piston all the way home. Um, and that generally is kind of the most straightforward way of doing it, I think, if you've got two people. But this time I was doing it my own. And so there's, I think there's two theories here. One, one is that you put the boot on the piston first, but on right on the back of the piston, so kind of like hanging off the edge of the back of the piston. And then you put that whole kind of assembly carefully into position. And then in theory, you would sort of go around and you try and push the seal into the caliper housing, the groove in the caliper housing. But trying to do that, and for it not to pop out, and to, you can't even get all the way around the back here because of the shape of the caliper, and there's not a big hole through through here, so that makes it, it's just, I couldn't do it that way. So I've just spent like two hours trying to do this. So then, the way I ended up doing it was putting some more grease, so you get you get this, um, this red uh, hydraulic assembly, um, grease I suppose it is, paste they call it, um, which is compatible with brake fluid. It's not copper slip or anti-seize. Um, it's specifically designed for going on the seals and as it says here, um, so I think it's a lithium soap based grease. And then anyway so you, you grease up the piston um, and I put the seal into the how into the caliper housing first, so made sure that the seal was home in the groove all the way around, which you is tricky in itself, but you can put you can kind of do that, work around with something carefully like a I was using a screwdriver which kind of blunt quite carefully to get in here and uh tuck tuck the seal in all the way around. And then basically took the piston up to the seal um, and then use the screwdriver to get into the seal and catch the seal, lift it up onto the piston so that the inner part of the seal was just onto the back of the piston and then I grabbed that bit of the seal and the piston and then kind of used two hands and forced, just worked my way all the way around the piston, pushing the seal up onto the piston and um, yeah, basically going in two directions, so going around this way and going around the other way with two hands. So you're kind of doing this motion until it yeah pulled the seal all the way onto the piston, and that actually took like I don't know thirty seconds once it was once I'd kind of worked it out. Um, so I think that's the way I would do it again in the future. Um, so just a tip there because it's such a tricky thing to do otherwise. So uh, hope that helps. And if anyone knows how this mechanism actually works um, and how you see, I'm not even sure. I'm sure the manual says, but uh, or service manual will say, but I don't know how you uh, adjust the handbrake um, auto tension. Um, but uh, if anyone knows how, then leave a comment. Thanks.